Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, to discuss further into conic sections and now look further at the hyperbola and look at an example, example two of the example series, just to illustrate how to deal with the hyperbola. Let's just jump right in and go over this example it states, find the foci and equation of the hyperbola with vert vertices. You have vertices zero plus or minus one and asymptote line y equals two x. So, uh, first thing to notice is, well, this is a uh, vertical hyperbola because uh, the, these vertices are on, yeah, they're on the uh, y-axis, so you have zero and plus or minus one there. So, yeah, so first thing we'll do is, well, just recall the vertical hyperbola formula, which I covered in my derivation video for hyperbolas. So hyperbola, bola, like that. Yeah, so recall that the equation is just going to be y squared over a squared and then minus the x squared over b squared and this equals to one. And, uh, and what I'll do now is I'll just draw this uh, vertical hyperbola like this, y axis show you the vertices. So we're given the vertices at zero right here and plus or minus one. So this is, uh, this is zero and one. So I'll just write uh, this is zero and one like that. And then over over here at the bottom of it is the other vertice we'll goes zero and negative one. And then it's gonna look something like this. Just to give you an example, uh, just illustration of it. Let's move this over like that. And this is our zero and negative one. And then the asymptote line we're given is y equals to two x. So, and I'll draw this actually on the other side. So we can draw the asymptote line y equals two x and it goes straight across it like that, this is y equals to two x. And likewise, you could draw the other one directly across it as well for y equals negative two x. I'll just leave it like that. So what we wanna find out is the foci, it's gonna be somewhere over there and somewhere over there. And this is gonna be at zero and negative c. And this is at zero and positive c, like that. So we want the equation of that, uh, of the, uh, yeah, the equation of the hyperbola as well as the foci. So in other words, so we'll write it here where the foci is at zero and plus or minus c, and also um, c. So recall that c c squared is equal to just a squared plus b squared. Also went over this in my earlier video, so make sure to watch out. Link will be in the description below. And now what we have now is uh, we also have the vertices. So the vertices are uh, remember that this one are just uh, zero and plus or minus a. So that is this value there. And in, in our case here, you can see that's just gonna be plus or minus one. So a is one. In other words, now here, and then the next one actually, first of all, is this asymptote line. So asymptotes. Remember the equation of asymptotes is just equal to y, I mean, yeah, it's just, it's just y equals to plus or minus yeah, plus or minus, and then it's gonna be a over b x. For a horizontal, uh, horizontal hyperbolas, it's b over a at times x, but we just leave it like that. So now we have this, so thus, in our case, in our case, we are given the vertices and asymptote line. So we have vertices of, so thus vertices, and so thus vertices, we have zero and plus or minus one. This is the same thing as uh, our, uh, in the standard form like that, zero and plus or minus a. So then this what we have is a equals to one, like that. So we have this value. And also the next thing to do is, because uh, we have a now, we just need to find b. So the asymptote line, or the asymptote we were given, we have it as y equals to two x. And this also equals to this a over b. I'll just use the positive side for now. a over b times x. So then if we just equate these, this just cancels with this. Well, this one I'll just write this as, uh, a is equal to one, or I'll, I'll do that afterwards actually. So I'll just cancel, so then what we end up having is B, move this over, and move the two on the other side, we get B equals to A over two, like that. And A is equal to one. So we have one over two equals to B. Yeah, so I'll just circle this like that. Yeah, so now that we have that, we can solve for the foci, that's a zero and plus or minus C, so that we have now foci, is uh, zero plus or minus c, and where c, I'll just write this over here, this equals to zero and plus or minus, and I'll just 
put it, I'll solve it right here. So c squared equals to a squared plus b squared. This equals to, well, a is one. So we have one plus, now we have one half uh, b squared like that. So I'll just square this. This just equals to one plus, well, one over four. And now we can just uh, s simplify this times both sides by four over four, on, I mean the top and bottom. So then we can have add that up, just becomes five over four like that. So then what we have is c, and when we square root it uh, both sides, we get c is equal to plus or minus square root 5 over 4, but we only want the positive one because we already have the plus or minus there, and we just need a uh, positive value for c. This just equals 2, square root 5, and then I'll just, square root of 4 is just 2, so 2. This is going to be equal to square root 5 and 2, so that is the foci, like that. Yeah, so thus what we end up having is put this all together, and I'll write thus, we have the equation is going to be y squared. So we have y squared over a squared uh, and then minus x squared over b squared equals to one. This just equals two now y squared over a which is one. So a is equal to one over there. And then minus x squared over b which is one over two like that. So one over two squared. So now what we can do, this one just uh, leaves it as is, and then this part right here, this just becomes, well, one over four, but then it's one over four, you're dividing by one over four, so the four goes on top. So thus we have y squared minus, this just goes on top, four, x squared equals to one. Just write it like that. And then the foci, I just write for completeness, and foci is at uh, zero, and I'll just write it actually like this, and foci, zero plus or minus square root five over two, like that. Let's write this a bit neater. And now here I just uh, graph this all together. I'll just circle this foci like this as well. Yeah, so here I use the decimals calculators, plug that in. So y squared minus four, x squared equals one, and also the asymptotes y equals two x, and as well as y equals negative two x for the other side. And as you can see here, this is a rise over run of two, and then there one across there. This is y o equals to two x, this is y equals negative two x, and there is our hyperbola in red over there, and this value is at, that's two, this is just one, so this is at uh, one, and this is at negative one, like that, so zero, negative one. And then the foci is gonna be square root five over two, square root five, what value is that going to be? That's going to be two point something, so it's about one-ish value, so it's going to be somewhere around here, um, I'm guessing. I'm not just somewhere under it or, or whatnot. Yeah, and here actually I'm just going to type that out. Uh, with, the, with, the, um, with my OneNote, you could just type it in now, it's pretty cool. You just type in square root two over uh, two, actually square root two, five over two. So five over two equals, I'll just write equals, and then there it is. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. So 1.11-ish. So it should be somewhere about, that's two, it should be somewhere around here, like that. This is our zero and square root five over two, like that. And then over here is somewhere across there as well for the uh, zero and negative square root five over two, like that. So anyways, cool stuff like that. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Anyways, that is all for today. Yeah, so cool stuff indeed. It was all for today. Thanks for watching. Hopefully follow along. And yeah, I highly recommend everybody get, just get the, get the OneNote, Microsoft OneNote. It's free. Yeah, the software is free. I use it for all my notes. It's pretty amazing. You could also search text on anywhere as well as in images. It's absolutely amazing. As, and also uh, I use my Microsoft yeah, Surface Pro. I think it's a uh, number three one. But anyways, uh, I'm just t talking about what I use. It's pretty amazing. Anyway, that, that's all for today. Uh, like, yeah, yeah. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below as well as viewing these notes on Steemit. I'll be putting those in article format. Also make sure to check out my private Discord chat room as well as my cool math forums and check yeah and post any cool math or science related stuff if you want. Anyways that's all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.